Am I Bert? Sure. Born 1911. Mm-hmm. July 12th, 1911. Mm-hmm. And then after four years... That was in, in Poland? I was born in the United States. Where were you then? Were you in Wisconsin or...? Yeah, Milwaukee. Okay. I was born in Milwaukee, in Maple Street. Mm. Six in Maple. Okay. So your, your dad wasn't here yet, though? He had to be here. Okay, that's right. <laughs> I'll let you tell the story. <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, my uh, dad decided that it would be better in Poland for us. So he sent myself, my brother Wally, and Ma, we went to Poland in 1914. Mm -hmm. We get there, we arrived in Poland, in that town that we lived in, on, uh, like on a Monday. A couple of days later, the war broke out. Hmm. World War One. Do you remember the name of the town? The yeah, Kajidua. Kajidua? Kajidua, the name, name of the town. Okay. And uh, we wound up, you know, Poland was, was uh, under Russian rule. And Germany was pushing them out. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and the Russians were uh, leaving, mm -hmm. and the Germans were chasing them. And we were on both sides. Some of us on this side of the road, some on this side. And we were moving out with them. So that took a couple of weeks. Oh, yeah. Then we returned. So you came back. At, how long were you in Poland then? Till I was 14. Till you 14? I came here, I was 14. Okay. So while I was in Poland, there was no schools. Mm -hmm. So I didn't go to school. How'd you learn from your? Did you learn? Every now and then we'd go to, we'd have a. Sometimes we'd have a teacher, and then we'd lose the teacher. Something happened; she was gone. We didn't have no teacher. So we, we in spots. We learned in spots. What? How'd you learn how to read from the teacher, or just on oh, your own? Oh yeah, in Polish. Okay. And then uh, nineteen. Uh, 24, we return, when we returned, I was 14. Mm. Hey, so when you first went over, you were you were four years old? Yeah. Did you learn how to speak in Polish originally or English? Oh, sure. That's all I talked about. So you, okay, you, so you, you, you learned Polish originally. Reading okay. and writing in Polish. Okay. But I didn't learn much else because mm -hmm. I wasn't in school Yeah. long enough at, at a time. Yeah. I was a cowboy over there. Mm -hmm. About nine-year-old cowboys, I took care of cows all day long. They had about a, maybe, I, f I forget, at least six of them, or sometimes a dozen of them. And I would take uh, other cows from town, and we'd take them on the farmers to feed on the farmers. Mm -hmm. So I had to take them there and bring them back. Had a long whip. I had a whip about one of these gotcha whips that mm -hmm. I made myself, pointed. What'd you make it out of? Uh, uh, there was a certain uh, hemp you, you made it out of. I even made straw hats. Oh, really? I made myself a straw hat. So. Hmm. Straw hat wasn't easy. You made it out of straw with it, and then you sew it together. Mm -hmm. Take a long time, I would oh, think. Yeah. yeah. But we'd go on a, in a wheat field. You'd go if you want to make a hat or something. You'd go in and you pick out the better ones. Hmm. Okay. So there's a lot of wheat fields out by you, where you were. Well, work? in the Poland there isn't too much. There because the farms were broken up, so there, uh, nobody had a lot of acreage. Ah. Okay. Then the low ones, ones were saved for. Uh, for the cows, for the, for the well, whatever you had, mm -hmm. animal, sheep, horses. Hmm. So what? What was the? Was there climate or weather similar to Wisconsin? About the same. About the same. So the winters got pretty cold. Got cold in the winter time, mm -hmm. like here. 
hot in the summertime. Mm -hmm. With summertime, we take, uh, on, on a real hot day, we take a break at noon mm -hmm. for two hours, about two hours. What would you do? We'd come, uh, if we were close enough, we used to come to town, otherwise, we just let the cows alone, they did let down, lay down. Mm. You'd be out there with the cows all day long. Yeah. You got a piece of bread. You had a bag, a bag on your shoulder and you had a piece of bread in there. And then if nobody was looking, I'd milk the cow. <laughs> Get a little belt to drink, huh? Right in the hall. Hmm. So what would you do besides work while you were there, when you were young? What would you do to... You have other friends there and other... And well, we had certain, uh, at certain times, uh, like close to winter, certain games, we'd... Uh, like we have uh, one of the games we had a stick pound on the ground about this high and put a stone on top mm -hmm. and then go away a certain distance and knock that stone off and if you how it depends how far you knock that stone by throwing a rock at it no a stick about this big yeah and then wherever it fell you go you go over and move that stick where you were I mean where the stone was. You see how far you'd get with it, so many, so many uh, times you threw. Then you'd go and see who went further. Ah, okay. That's one game. Another game we had, uh, we sawed off a wheel off a log, about this thick, maybe eight inches in diameter, mm -hmm. and threw it towards you. And you try and stop it. If it got by you, then, you, then I'd move. And you throw it back. Okay. And I'll be there with my stick and try and hit it. If you, if you miss it, they'll go by. If you, if you can hit it right, mm -hmm. they'll go back towards you. Okay. So when you when you throw it, did you roll it or do you throw it like you, you try to roll it? Yeah. Okay. Roll it, not throw it. At the yeah. Okay. You roll it because the ground is firm. Okay. Where we play on a roadway, and the roadways are out of out of ground. Okay. Hmm. So did you play that with Wally? Well, some kids in the neighborhood. Yeah. Wally too. No. Hmm. No. Hmm. I mean, sick stuff like just like any kids. Yeah. 